Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a custom domain name to your GitHub Pages website. Now, if you don't already have a GitHub Pages website, then you can watch my other video about how to create one for yourself, which is free, free hosting, free subdomain. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add a custom domain name, regardless of where you got your domain name from. Um, like I bought my domain name from Google Domains. You might've bought yours from GoDaddy or DreamHost, uh, but the same concepts in this video apply regardless of what your domain name registrar was. So if that's something you want to learn how to do, let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. Um, right now, I do have my GitHub pages website at tonyflow.github.io, as you can see here. It's just a static HTML, CSS, JavaScript website. Um, and we can look at the repository that that's associated with here, tonyflow slash tonyflow.github.io. If we go into the settings here, down to the GitHub pages section, uh, you'll see that that's indeed the case. Now, we have we get this for free, this is subdomain at github.io. Um, but if you want a custom domain name, like if, uh, for example, I want to apply the domain name careerquitter.com to my GitHub site, that's what you do down here in this custom domain section. So what I'm going to do, I own, I'll prove it to you in a second, but I own the domain name careerquitter.com. You want to type in whatever your domain name is that you own and you want to associate with this GitHub Pages website and hit save. Now, this is, um, if we go back down here, we'll see that that has now been applied to our uh, GitHub Pages. And what we want to do is to update a few DNS resource records in order to pretty much tell our domain name registrar that that's where our website is being hosted now. So if you click on this learn more here, you'll see um, under the manage a custom domain name for your GitHub pages site, there are a series of IP addresses that we want to add a records for. So these are these IP addresses. Um, I'm gonna show you how to add those with Google domains. But like I said, this is a, the same concept applies wherever you got your domain name from. So for example, if you got it from GoDaddy, this is Google domains, but if you got it from GoDaddy, you would just log into GoDaddy, find your domain name, find your DNS settings, and then make those changes. So let's go through that process here for Google domains. Here's the domain name that I own, careerquitter.com. I'm going to go into the DNS settings. And then down at the bottom under custom resource records, we're going to add those IP addresses. So the first one is, um, this one right here. The next one is this one right here. The third one, this one right here. And if you see the pattern, the first one, fourth one is 111. So we have 108, 109, 110, 111, all ending in 153. And that's the same uh, pretty much for everybody who uses GitHub. So let's add those as an A record. Um, we also want to add the www version of your website. So this is all of these right here are for careerquitter.com. We're going to do the same exact thing for www.careerquitter.com. So we'll use the same four IP addresses, 108, 109, 110, and 111. And that's it. So add those. Um, so we have technically eight different records here. Um, and as you can see up here, it could take up to 48 hours. We'll see what kind of luck that we have for these changes to actually be applied. Um, but let's get out of here. Uh, let's minimize this for now and go back to our website. So we still have tonyflow.github.io. Uh, that'll still work. But if we go to careerquitter.com, it's not redirecting us just yet to the new GitHub pages. Let's pause the video here for a few minutes and then I'll catch back up with you guys when that propagation has finished. All right guys, so I just figured out that this might've been a caching issue. So th this still isn't loading in my current session, but if we go open uh, like a guest window or a private session and go to careerquitter.com, you'll see that it does indeed uh, redirect us to the GitHub pages website. So as you saw before, um, Tony, tonyflow.github, dot io is this website uh, and that's taking us to careerquitter.com so they're one in the same thing they're just two domain names pointing to the same website hosted with github pages now as you can see here uh, uh, by default we're getting an ssl certificate um, and i'll show you why that's the case um, from i think it's from let's encrypt 
let's see here if we can see that in the details section. Yeah, so they issue you a free uh, Let's Encrypt SSL certificate, which is perfect for HTTPS, and that's what our website is being served over. So let's get out of this. Let me show you uh, why that's the case. If we go to um, our settings again in our repository, we'll see it, this might not be checked by default. Um, if it's if it if you did not check this box, then feel free to check this box, and that's just going to provide that uh, extra layer of protection, as it says here, encryption uh, for HTTPS websites. So, um, adding the custom domain name and then enforcing HTTPS, those two things should get you what you need to do. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this from me in the future, then please consider subscribing, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.